In this video, we will see 10 amazing traps in the English opening. First, we will see 5 for the white pieces and then 5 for black. So, let's get started. After c4 e5, knight c3, knight c6, knight f3, black goes g6. Then you go d4, striking in the center. Black takes and here you can recapture, but instead you go knight to d5. Black goes h6, preventing bishop to g5. And here you just take this pawn back. Black goes bishop to g7, putting more pressure on this knight. But you go bishop to f4, targeting c7. Black goes d6, blocking your bishop. But then you go knight to b5, targeting c7 again. Black goes bishop takes b2, hitting your rook. Here you can save your rook, but instead you can play knight takes c7. And after king moves, you can capture the rook. And after black captures your rook, you can take his bishop first attacking his rook so black have to go knight g7 to defend his rook but then you can play knight a c7 and you can safely retreat this knight or even exchange this knight and then retreat this knight and you are completely winning let's move on to our next trap after c4 c5 knight c3 knight c6 you play g3 black goes knight f6 you go bishop g2 standard moves black goes bishop to b4 to trade this knight or his bishop but you go knight to d5 hitting his bishop black goes knight takes d5 you recapture and here most of your opponents will go knight to d4 centralizing his knight but this is a big mistake because you can play e3 he cannot go to b5 because of queen to a4 which will fork both the pieces therefore he goes knight to f5 but then you can play queen to g4 and win one of his minor pieces and you are completely winning Let's move on to our next trap. After c4 e5, knight c3, knight f6, knight f3, knight c6. This is the 4 knight English. And here you go d4, attacking the center. Black takes, and then you go knight takes d4. Black goes bishop to b4, pinning this knight. You play bishop to g5, pinning his knight to the queen. And black goes h6. And here you go bishop to h4. And here black goes with a tricky move, knight to e4. Sacrificing his queen, you accept the sacrifice and after black takes, you shouldn't recapture because he can play bishop takes and then you will be forced to block with the queen and he will regain the queen. Therefore, you can first take his knight and then when he take his queen, you can capture his bishop and you will be up a piece. If he takes your bishop, you can take his knight or if he takes your pawn, then you can just save your bishop and you are completely winning. Let's move on to our next trap. After c4 e5, knight c3, knight f6, knight f3, knight c6. We have the 4 knight English again. You go g3, black goes bishop to b4 to trade his bishop for the knight, but you play knight d5. Black takes your knight, you recapture, and then he goes e4, counter attacking your knight. But then you just take his knight, and after black recaptures, you can play this amazing move going to b3. And black can just resign here because if you move his bishop back, then he, you can take this pawn and you will be up in material. And here, if he takes your pawn, then you can just take this bishop and you are completely winning. Let's move on to our next trap. After c4, c5, this is the symmetrical English. Knight c3, black goes e5. And here you go e3, black goes knight e7. And then you play knight to b5. Black goes d5, striking in the center. But then you go with this tricky move, going to a4, threatening a discovered attack on this black king. Therefore, black blocks with his bishop. But this is a big blunder because the queen is no longer protecting the d6 square. Therefore, you can play knight to d6, smothered checkmate. Now, let's see some traps for the black pieces. After c4, c5, knight f3, knight c6, White goes d4, striking in the center. But you just take this pawn. White takes back. And now don't capture this knight. Instead play g6. Black goes b3. You play bishop g7. And here, bishop to b2 seems like a natural move because he is defending his knight and also developing his bishop. But here you go with knight takes d4. And after white takes, you can play queen to a5 check. Black blocks with the knight. But you can just sacrifice your queen 
bishop is forced to take and then you can take his bishop and now the queen is forced to block and after you take black recaptures you are just up a full piece let's move on to our next trap after c4 e5 knight c3 you play bishop to b4 to trade your bishop for this knight and damage is one structure white goes knight to d5 you play bishop c5 knight f3 is a natural move you play e4 attacking the knight and here white goes with this trick e d4 counter attacking your bishop but you just retreat your bishop to f8 then here instead of saving his knight white goes bishop to f4 targeting c7 but you just completely ignore this threat and play e takes f3 white happily grab this pawn but here you will shock him with queen takes c7 bishop takes and then you can play bishop to b4 check and now white have only one option which is queen to d2 you can take his queen and after king takes you can just take this pawn bishop is forced to take and you are just up a full knight and you are completely winning let's move on to our next trap after c4 e5 knight c3 knight f6 here white goes d3 you play b6 white goes b3 you play bishop b7 black goes bishop to b2 developing his bishop you go bishop c5 black goes knight d5 centralizing his knight but then you play knight takes d5 and after white takes you can recapture this pawn and your upper pawn and here the most common move is bishop takes e5 thinking that white regains the pawn but then you can play bishop to b4 check and now the only option for white is to block with the queen and after that you can take his queen and you are just completely winning let's move on to our next trap after c4 e5 knight c3 knight c6 knight f3 you go with f5 black goes d4 but here you don't take and push forward black goes bishop to g5 attacking your queen but then you play knight f6 white goes d5 counter attacking your knight then you can just take this knight white recaptures and then you can also take his other pawn and here white goes c takes d7 check but here you can sacrifice your queen with knight takes d7 and now white is completely lost here if he takes this pawn then his bishop is hanging therefore he takes your queen but then you can take his rook and promote to a queen and you are completely winning let's move on to our next trap after c4 c5 d4 you just take this pawn white goes knight f3 attacking this pawn but then you go with this tricky move e5 and here more than 70000 players have played knight takes e5 which is a big blunder because you can play queen to a5 check after white goes bishop d2 then you can just take this knight and you are just completely winning in five moves well this is not the end check out this left playlist for more amazing chess traps like these and check out this right playlist if you want to learn some chess openings and if you don't want to miss more amazing videos like these then don't forget to subscribe